Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You will use the Master Pages in Publisher to change the default appearance of pages in a publication. A Master Page is a page that contains the default objects and content you want to apply as a page layout to a publication page. When you add pages to a publication, they can then be formatted according to the Master Pages specifications. Publisher allows for several master pages within a single publication. You can create and customize your own master pages and then save them as a custom template for future use. To display the master page view, click the Master Page button in the Views button group on the View tab in the ribbon. The master pages for the current publication will then appear in the navigation pane at the left side of the window. The currently selected master page in this panel will be displayed for editing in the main window. The Master Page tab will be displayed in the ribbon. Use the buttons on this tab to manipulate the Master Pages for your publication. To add a new Master Page, click the Add Master Page button in the Master Page button group to open the New Master Page dialog box. In this dialog box, you can enter an identifier for the Master Page into the Page ID One Character text box. Typically, Master Pages are identified in alphabetical order. Enter a description of the master page into the description text box. To create a two-page master spread, check the two-page master checkbox. When finished, click the OK button. To customize a master page, you must first select it in the navigation pane. You can then add any content that you want to show in your publication pages by default into the selected master page. This is a great place to add building block content you want to have displayed on your pages. You can also apply any other design items to publication pages that are associated with the selected master page. Note that any content placed onto a master page cannot be edited when applied to the actual pages in your publication. However, it is an excellent place to insert content that will not change, like page numbers, design elements, and custom header and footer information. To access the header and footer in your selected master page, Click the Show Header Footer button that appears in the Header and Footer button group on the Master Page tab within the ribbon. Your insertion marker will be placed at the left edge of the header or footer each time you click this button. You can then use the Tab key on your keyboard to tab to the center or right tab within the selected header or footer if desired. Once your insertion marker is at the desired location, Click the Insert Page Number button in the Header and Footer button group to insert a page number into the text box. You can also click the Insert Date or Insert Time buttons in the Header and Footer button group to insert date or time stamps into the text box at the indicated locations. You can also simply type your own custom header and footer information if desired. Once you have entered your custom header and footer information, click into the page area to quit editing the headers and footers. Back in the Master Page button group, you can click the Two Page Master button to switch the currently selected Page Master between a two page and one page layout. If you click this button when you have a two page master page selected, Publisher will warn you that all objects on the left master page will be deleted and replaced by the objects on the right master page. You will need to click the OK button in the confirmation dialog box to continue. Click the Apply to drop-down button to apply the currently selected master page to other pages within your publication. From the drop-down, you can select the Apply to all pages command to apply the selected master page to all the publication pages. Select Apply to current page to apply the master page to the currently selected publication page. You could also select the Apply Master Page command to open the Apply Master Page dialog box. 
In this dialog box, you have the option to apply the currently selected master page to all, the current page, or to a page range within the publication. If you select the Pages option, then enter the page range into the associated text boxes. When finished, click the OK button. To duplicate the selected master page, click the Duplicate button in the Master Page button group. Enter an ID and description for the duplicate into the Duplicate Master Page dialog box that appears and then click the OK button to finish. Click the Rename button in the Master Page button group to open the Rename Master Page dialog box where you can enter a new ID and description for the selected master page. Then click the OK button to rename the selected master page. To delete the currently selected master page from your publication, click the Delete button in the Master Page button group. If you do this, Publisher will warn you that if the master page has been applied 20 pages in your publication, that the first master page will be applied in its place as a substitution. If this is fine, then click the Yes button to delete the selected master page. Once you have finished customizing the master pages, click the Close Master Page button in the Close button group on the Master Page tab in the ribbon to close the master page view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.